Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is not going to be about photography, it's going to be about audio. As you can see we bought a new microphone and let me tell you how we ended up with this particular one. So as you see on our channel we're putting out more and more photography tutorials and which requires a setting like this that's sitting in front of a computer and that's why we've been planning to get a microphone like this so to find the perfect microphone it had to take a few boxes for me one of them being different patterns or directivity uh, the other one i don't want to bother with uh, phantom powers and all these kind of things so usb powered and the third one to have a 3.5 jack output so i can connect it to the camera quite easily so my first choice was the blue yeti because it takes all the boxes and price is just about right so why not but then I noticed something that kind of was a deal breaker for me and that's USB mini I mean it's 2022 call me a snob but if you're not USB C you're out you don't have my interest my attention or my money so that's why I started looking for another brand and found this little Godox one well Godox being a brand that we've been using for a long time now like uh, this little flash here we're using it since 2016 and it's still functioning just as well as it was in day one. We're using Godox Godox Studio Lights, Godox uh, Softboxes. So the plan, we know it, we tested it, it works. So I had faith that this microphone will be the same quality. Price wise, it's a bit higher than the Yeti, just a few quid, so nothing major, still in the same ballpark. But it offers a bit more, it offers 24-bit sample rate over the 16-bit sample rate of the Yeti. And while I don't have the Yeti, so I can't give you a first-hand experience, but uh, it seems to me that all reviews tend to agree that this Godox microphone have a much better build quality than the Yeti from Blue. So one of the reasons why we wanted a microphone like this, because our computer's fan noise is just insane. Seriously, when we start using a photo editing app or anything that requires a lot of CPU, the computer just sounds like a, I don't know, a jet airplane taking off. So we need something that doesn't pick up much from the back, but picks up more on the front. And the lapel AM mics often picking up that noise a lot. So we have a lot of hard time in post process trying to cancel that out. Now obviously this microphone is going to pick up some of that noise and to show you that I'm going to do a focus stacking of 17 images in Affinity Photo which requires a lot of CPU power uh, which means that our computer will go in a frenzy in any second now. Can you hear it? Here we go, the jet plane taking off. And now just to show you the difference, it's, I set it to omnidirectional so you can hear the fan noise, it's how loud it is. So let's just switch back to home, my days. Can you hear it? So now back to cardioic unidirectional, you can clearly see the difference. So let's talk about the different directional patterns it has. The first one is the omnidirectional. It records everything around the microphone. It's good when you're having like a Zoom meeting or anything where you want everyone to be picked up equally on the side, on the front, on the back, everywhere. Then there's the unidirectional, which is the cardioic mode, when it's only recording everything on the front a little bit on the side and technically nothing at the back. This is really good in situations like this when you're doing like a tutorial video or just talking head videos and for, or streaming a game or anything. Like you're using the keyboard so you can still hear it but it doesn't pick up that strong. And then there is the bidirectional when it's recording everything on the front, everything on the back, but nothing really on the sides. It's good when you're having like an interview, so you put it down between yourself and the interviewee, and then you're just having a conversation, it will record both of you quite equally. And then there's the last one, stereo mode, when it's recording like uh, in a stereo way, like on left and right, but nothing really on the back. So it's good on the uh, times when, like let's say we do videos with Alyssa and both of us on the screen and we're just using one microphone so it picks up both of us 
Also, the controls are very well laid out. On the back, you have the gain and the directional knob uh, because once you set those, you don't really have to worry about it. You don't touch that anymore. And on the front, you have a volume for the headphones and a mute button, which can come very handy if you're like uh, streaming your game and your mom starts to argue with you that you have to tidy up the room, etc. So overall, the design, I really like it. It's, it looks really nice. It has a very nice build quality. It feels like it's built like a tank. It's built to last. And uh, one thing I really like that when you taking off the microphone with these two knobs from the stand, then they don't come off. They stick to the stand so you don't lose them, which is very handy with Alissa. There's one thing I would highly recommend is using like some sort of a foam isolation between your desk and the stand because let me show you why when you're just putting it on the desk you can you can you can hear that it picks up a lot of uh, these little vibrations from the desk but what I'm using is just these kind of foams they came with uh, a lens so I'm just putting it under actually I'm putting two so it's a bit higher about normally nothing so that solves that issue so when you're taking it off the stand you can just add to a boom arm or a tripod on the bottom it has a 5.8 thread uh, which you can convert with one of these to a either 3.8 or a quarter 20 standard so quite easy to use it makes this microphone very versatile so as you can see i'm quite happy with this microphone but i'm being a very snarky guy so there are a few little quirks that I would like to be different. So the first, I would love to have the 3.5 jack just to be an audio out, so I can just connect it directly to the camera and record it that way. But unfortunately, it's not the case. When I connect it to the camera, because I don't know, it's because of the higher voltage or anything, but it just makes like a kind of like a noise and distorted voice, so it's unusable for that. But not entirely, because right now I'm using the microphone through the Rode Wireless Go. It's connected to the Rode Wireless and then connected to my camera. Now, the other thing is the USB. I was hoping, to be honest, uh, that I can just connect it to a power bank and then just use the G5 directly to the camera, so I, it's a very versatile setup. But as I said, with the 3.5, it's not the case, and it's not the case with the USB as well, because it has to be connected to something that it can communicate with the microphone so it has to be like a computer or a mobile phone and it's a bit funny that with a mobile phone to make the 3.5 jack work i have to connect it to my mobile phone wait until it's recognizing it then mute the microphone and then unmute the microphone and then i can just use the same way as i'm using it now so it's still quite a versatile and, and portable setup so i'm don't get me wrong as long there's a way I'm happy, but it will be just easier. It will be just a power bank, 3.5 into the camera, and there you go. It's ready to go. Maybe in a firmware, Godox can do this feature, but I highly doubt that they will ever bother because this microphone is not aimed toward this kind of situations. It's aimed towards streamers, gamers, and uh, like situations like this when you're sitting in front of a computer, doing an editing video and tutorial, and or just talking head. So something like this. And for that, it's very, very good. The sound quality is very, very good. It's, it's much better than we had with a little lap layer, obviously. So as I say, that's a standalone microphone. It might not be the best choice because you need to do a little trickery here to get it in directly into the camera. Or you can just uh, use your mobile phone, just connect the phone, record the audio there, record the audio with the built-in microphone on the camera and just use something like this little dock clicker which will make a huge spike in the audio, so you can just easily synchronize the two audios. So as you can see overall, I'm really pleased with this Godox U-Mic 82. I can honestly recommend it. So thanks for watching this video. And yes, it's a helium balloon. Don't forget to hit like and share and subscribe. See you next time.